The rosters are set, the teams have landed, and the Bulls are ready to go. It's World Cup time. Hi, I'm Crystal Matthews. After a few of the initial members of Team USA seemed to cool off in recent weeks, Captain J.W. Hart has pretty much completely rebuilt his roster. Of his original five-man team, only world leader Austin Meyer and McKennon Wimberly remain. They will be joined by Mike Lee, Ryan McConnell, and Travis Briscoe. Team USA is not named an alternate, so a serious injury will require that one of their teammates double up. J.B. Mooney, who struggled a lot lately, pulled out of contention Sunday night. And despite a respectable two-for-two two performance in Nampa, Jordan Hupp did not make the final cut. Team Brazil, despite some recent drama, is fielding probably the single best team in its history. Based on career riding percentage, they are far and away the statistical favorites to win the cup. Guilherme Marchi, Renato Nunes, Silvano Alves, Robson Palermo, and Paulo Ferreira have a combined riding average of over 70% in 2010. Between them, the Brazilians have two world final event wins and one world championship. Throwing Captain Adriano Marias and the world title tally goes up to four. While it's true that Brazil has only three team members currently ranked in the top ten compared to Team USA's four, they also have a secret weapon, Silvano Alves. He flat out won his first ever Built for Tough Series event last week in Nampa by going a perfect four for four on the weekend. Prior to that, he'd gone 15 for 16 in touring pro events. That's a 95% riding average in the U.S. And another notable adjustment, PBR veteran Brendan Clark will be joining Team Australia in Las Vegas, replacing Rees England. Clark was cut from the Built for Tough Series earlier this season, but recently won a touring pro event in Edmonton, Canada, and is hoping to bring that momentum to the Aussies, who have never finished higher than fourth in the World Cup competition. The dark horse through all of this is, of course, Team Canada. Captain Cody Snyder, a world champion himself, has consistently brought his team to the brink of victory and has defeated both the United States and Brazil in previous World Cup competitions. His roster includes two Canadian national champions in Aaron Roy and Scott Schiffner. Also included are Devin Metzi, Tyler Thompson, and Vince Northrup, who have all previous World Cup experience. But most folks seem to think that once again the World Cup will come down to a battle between the U.S. and Brazil. Yes, there may be something to home field advantage, but remember that this is the Thomas & Mack Center, a place Guilherme Marchi has more or less owned in his career, winning both the finals itself and the 2008 World Championship. So buckle up, it's World Cup 2010. The final two days will be broadcast on Versus. But you can keep up with the live audio of N Arena announcers Clint Atkins and Brandon Bates, live photos, and of course, live scoring and blogs throughout the weekend. Check the event center at PBR.com for all that and more, beginning Friday night. Thanks for watching. For the PBR, I'm Crystal Matthews.